because um okay they're hopping in still oh yeah am I, am I the one letting them in yeah that's what's annoying is whoever is on the slides has to be the one like letting people in but it's only for like the next few minutes anyway so do I go to the participant area or where do I go to for that yeah click on that click on the participant area and you oh, should see like the waiting room okay you see it Ask to me. Okay. Yeah. I don't, oh, if there's there's there, it'll admit. say like admit and you just click admit. My high school, my, my elementary school friend is here. Sherry. <laughs> and Tinny's here. Tinny is a nurse at Kaiser and she's one of the recipients of uh, one of the helping hands donations. So welcome, Tinny. Um, okay. So let me head over to here and share my screen. Share. Okay. My kids listen to Lang Wang. Do you guys know him? <laughs> He's a very fun pianist to watch. Okay, so these are our slides for tonight. And what is going on with your skin? Do you understand it? What are some things you love about your skin? And what are some things that you want to improve upon? Okay, so th those are the things to keep in mind. Um, a lot of us may <coughs> suffer from redness. Okay, and redness can come from a variety of things, but usually it's rooted in inflammation. So the oils that help with that are yarrow palm, which is um, from pomegranate, and then the yarrow root, a correct X, which is a blend of essential oils in a base of like petroleum. So it's thick and it goes on really nicely. It coats, it acts like a barrier, but it has like frankincense and melaleuca, lavender, helichrysum, cedarwood, all very anti-microbial uh, and very healing oils. Uh, frankincense is another one for redness and helichrysum. All right. Okay, scars. So some of you may have scars from old injuries or maybe even a C-section. Okay, oils good for that are geranium, yarrow palm again, frankincense again, and then neroli, which is the oil from the orange blossom. It's very balancing and it helps to fade scars. All right, then breakouts. Okay, so even if we're not teenagers, some of us suffer from this, especially when our hormones are, are um, you know, not in balance because we're menstruating. Okay, tea tree oil is great for that. Um, it used to be called melaleuca. Uh, melaleuca is still, it's Latin taxonomical name, but um, when you buy a bottle of tea tree now, it'll say tea tree instead of melaleuca. Melaleuca will be in the smaller letters, okay? Uh, HD Clear, which is a blend that has melaleuca in it and along with Buddha wood. Uh, rose Touch is great too for breakouts and you get to smell like a rose. Um, one of the reasons why Rose Touch is so good is because it helps to balance hormones. It's also a libido booster, Rose Touch. All right, now brown spots. A lot of us deal with this as we age or if we have sun exposure, especially those of us in sunny Southern California. So oils that help to fade the sunspots are frankincense, lavender, sandalwood, black spruce. Okay, and aging. This is another one that a lot of us deal with. Um, the fine lines, the wrinkles, the loose skin. So Immortel, which is free this month with the 200 PV order, is amazing. It's got six really great skin oils. Lavender, sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh, which Queen Esther used for beautification. Um, it has uh, helichrysum. helichrysum. And then there's one more. Rose? No, you said that already? Oh. Wine, sandalwood, lavender, helichrysum, frankincense. Frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose. That's it. Oh, rose. Okay, yeah. So those the heavy hitters are in there. You know, you've yeah, got heavy hitters in your rose. And this is free um, this month with your 200 PV order. Mm -hmm. Although I keep my I keep my gold cap and I switch it out because I like the gold cap instead of the silver cap. <laughs> so yes, um, <laughs> and Immortel is a straight blend, meaning it's not diluted at all with mm -hmm. coconut oil. So it's really great because if you want to dilute it, this can make like four bottles, mm -hmm. okay? So um, it's a great, great oil to have for your skin. All right, 
Now, skincare is not just topical. It's really from the inside out. So what's going on internally in your gut, in your bloodstream is going to show up on your skin. Okay. So 80% of what's going on in our body is going to show up on our skin. And the things that are nutritious to our body and also to our skin are all the things in the LLV. So LLV stands for lifelong vitality and all these things, the lutein, the coenzyme Q10, the alpha lipoic acid, vitamin A, carotenoids, thiamine, it's all in here. It's truly amazing. And you know, what's great is that all of these nutrients are good for your skin, but they also are good for other aspects of health. Many of them are anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, so your cells will be healthier, you'll have less pain too, because a lot of our pain is inflammation-based. All right, so it's a really great idea to take this vitamin on a regular basis, because not only will, it, will we glow outside on our skin, but our insides will be happy too. All right. You know, someone's in, someone's trying to get in the class. Okay. Why don't you start talking now, Letitia? Okay. Uh, the other things that Tina and I were talking about that are some supplements um, are the, um, the bone nutrient. I like to recommend the bone nutrient to my clients. They're always talking about biotin for their hair, their skin, their nails. And, um, you know, we all need the bone nutrition, but biotin is one of those things that the second I mentioned biotin, people are very interested in, um, finding out what we have that has the biotin. So obviously our lifelong vitality has the biotin and so does our uh, bone nutrient. And then the other supplement that I think uh, we should really be paying attention to is this Yarrow Palm one. Um, it has the vitamin C, so not just for um, our skin, but our immune system as well. So we talk a lot about the vitamin C, especially with, um, with the virus that's going around right now. It's one of the, the top um, supplements to be adding into your uh, regime. So uh, what we do on the inside affects the outside. So you could consider the Yarrow Palm Cellular Beauty Complex, okay? Mm -hmm. It has the um, vitamin C in it. And then this one has the um, biotin as well. So those are just some other add-ons that I have next to all my other supplements. Right, right. Yeah, and what's interesting about the Yarrow Palm supplement is the second ingredient is actually mm -hmm. zinc, mm -hmm. which is also like an a really, really strong immune optimizer, something that you do want to be taking daily. Okay, so um, there we have the yarrow palm right there. It's got grapeseed, vitamin C, which are really good for collagen production. It also has a melon that enhances glowing skin. Um, they come in a little, you know, that little bottle there, and um, they're beautiful. They're like the color of pomegranate. They're red, okay? Um, what's written, what, that's what I love about doTERRA, is what's written on the label is actually in the oil or in the supplement, okay? You don't have to um, question that. Okay, then we have terrazyme here. So uh, terrazyme are really, really awesome pills that contain 10 different enzymes. Okay, enzymes are proteins that eat away at other proteins. Okay, they help to dissolve and to degrade food matter and also scar tissue within our body. Um, it helps to break down proteins, fats, and carbs, which is what most of us eat every day. If we can break down our food better, we have better digestion and we also have better skin. Okay, Terrazyme supports the elimination chimneys, which are your elimination organs, you know, your GI system, your urinary system, your liver system. It also calms angry red skin. So they did a study on kids in Japan. A lot of Asians actually have eczema. They put the kids on Terrazyme for two months and their skin got better without even anything topically because the Terrazyme helped to restore that gut health and helped to clear up the skin. Okay, then we have PB Assist, which is your probiotic. PB stands for probiotic. Okay, and it has a pre and a probiotic. So what is a prebiotic? Well, pre means before, right? That uh, pre prefix means before. So the prebiotic feeds the biotic, and the biotic is the good bacteria. 
all right? And so when you're taking this one pill, you're feeding the bacteria and you're also repopulating your gut with good bacteria. So you really want to have good bacteria in your gut because when you have those good bacteria, they help you to make more vitamins, they help you to absorb your food better, okay? And it also soothes gut inflammation. Okay, now this is another really key point is water. Water is so important to our skin health, okay? And so we need to be drinking at least half our body weight in ounces per day, okay? And sometimes you need to chew on that sentence for a little bit because you're like, hmm, what does that mean? So an example would be, let's say I weighed 150 pounds, okay? Half of 150 is 75 so I need to be drinking 75 ounces of water a day. So for example, this cup here is 15 ounces. And so I need to be drinking five of these a day. And what I tell most people is try to get half of your water intake by noon. All right. So that's by noon. I'll be drinking two and a half of these. And I literally will sit, I'm not even sit. I'll stand at my kitchen counter, have my water and I'll put some lemon essential oil or other citrus essential oil because those are really detoxifying and I'll just chug it down like in one standing <laughs> without walking around because what happens is I'll walk around and I'll forget you know because I'll be distracted doing something else but it really is a thing you need to be mindful about is drinking enough water per day because it's going to show up on your skin and if you drink coffee you actually need to drink a little extra water okay and if you work out you need to drink a little extra water right this requirement this little calculation here is just for normal living it doesn't take into effect the diuretics you're drinking like alcohol and coffee or diuretics doesn't take into account the exercise okay so um if this is like too hard for you you know i don't want to figure out equations i don't want to count cups of water then basically you want your pee to be clear or very very light yellow and if it's that then you know you're hydrated Okay. All right. Anything to add, Letitia? We're doing our cleanse right now, which is the 30 day cleanse by doTERRA. And, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of positive benefits from it for our gut and which also has like a chain reaction into, um, our detoxifying organs and the skin is one of the largest detoxifying organs. So uh, we are projecting that by the end of the 30 days, we're going to have some really positive results. Mm -hmm. After we do the activation process, the uh, reset and renew, those are the three phases in it. And so the supplements, um, the way that we are taking them, um, we're benefiting ourselves in more than just topical. So we could have a skincare class and talk about oh, how to wash your face. I think everyone knows how to do that. Everyone knows how to use the steps in the skincare line. It's just understanding the the base of them and the purity and um, that it doesn't it starts from the inside. So that's why talking about all these supplements are so important uh, because it really does start from the inside out. And then on the outside, um, you know, we have like a side effect of using the essential oils topically because they're going to support us emotionally and they're going to also be in our bloodstream and they're going to support our cellular function and our mood. So like all those things combined are going to make us feel more beautiful and not just only look more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Letitia. Okay. So doTERRA has three skincare lines. The first is the Virage. There's four components to this. The first is that white tube there, which is a cleanser. So you just put that on and then wash it off with water. Then you have your toner, which is that larger green bottle. And then after you tone, then you will do the serum, hydrating serum, and then the lotion itself. And this whole line is like $80 and it lasts me usually two to three months. So it's very affordable. And uh, let me read off some of the amazing oils in this. Okay, you've got frankincense and myrrh, and we know those are great for aging and for scars. Okay, uh, it also has some lavender in it. Um, let's see. Cypress. Cypress is a great oil for circulation. Okay, and so this is a very, very complete and popular cell uh, skincare line. Also, a, the plant-based line. So, as far as the compared to the uh, 
the Essentials line, mm -hmm. um, which is more the white cream color. Um, this is plant-based. So a lot of people like the concept of that, knowing that that is part of the Virage. Um, the other one's a little more clinical. It's a little more traditional, what people have been using from different, like over the counter, um, things like that. So um, I liked, I like when I found that out, that this was a plant-based line. Um, I was really excited to, to hear that. It has sandalwood in here too, which is another really great oil for skin. Okay, now we have the HD clear line. This is what my kids use. And I can tell when they're not using it faithfully. <laughs> I'm like, did you lose your HD clear? Like, oh, I haven't, I've skipped a couple of days. Cause really, literally if they use it regularly, they don't have as many breakouts. The main component in here is tea tree oil. All right, that is so good for breakouts. You can also apply tea tree oil directly to um, a pimple and it will start to dry out immediately. Um, some people though have had some um, sensitivity to that, so you will want to mix it with coconut oil. But this is already pre-mixed. That roller there is pre-mixed. And this whole line is like $40 and it lasts my kids two months also. So this is a great line. Um, it's got a foaming facial wash and then you roll the oil onto areas that um, need the breakout control and then it has a very non-comedogenic lotion. Okay, that's the last step. All right. The other thing I would like to recommend is if you have a teenager who has breakouts, you need to be changing their facial towel like every two or three days. You need to be changing their pillowcase every two or three days as well because you want to make sure that the surfaces that they rub their face on don't have bacteria or not a, I mean, there's bacteria everywhere, but not a large growth of bacteria. Okay. All right. Then the last skincare line is the doTERRA Essential uh, skincare line. And this has quite a few components, uh, but they're divided into four sections. The first section is cleansing. So you have a regular facial cleanser, and then you have an invigorating scrub facial cleanser that has some little beadlets that help to exfoliate skin. So I will use the facial cleanser like every night, but then like twice a week, I'll use the invigorating scrub for that um, exfoliation. And then the second part of this is toning. Okay, and so the pore reducing toner is phenomenal. I've heard of people who have large pores and when they would use this regularly, they really could tell that their pores would get smaller. So this is a great toner. And then we have a targeted section where we target areas of concern. So there's a brightening gel that helps to reduce the um, darkness of aging spots. Um, that long stick there with the metal ball is the um, anti-aging eye cream and you just roll it under the bags. I keep mine in my refrigerator because when I roll it on when it's cold, I notice immediately that those bags go away. So, and then the last component is a tightening serum. So if you have an area of more wrinkles, then you're gonna wanna use that tightening serum on there after you tone, okay? Do you know, I wanted to um, talk a little bit about this line, if I can add a couple of things. Yeah. Um, and someone else I think is trying to get in if they still are able to get oh, in. Oh, okay. Regina is. Um, one thing I noticed when I first started using this line is that uh, there's no sudsing. Okay, so a lot of cleansers, uh, we equate suds, foam, bubbles to clean. Um, and that can be stripping of just our natural oils that we need uh, just for protection. So when you use the cleanser, you're gonna have a completely different experience than what you're used to. So you're gonna put just a little bit goes a long way. And if you're in the shower, you actually want your face to be kind of dry. So I have a towel over the shower and I kind of pat it dry. And then you spread it all over and it's a cream base. So you're not gonna get that soapy, lathery kind of a feeling, it's actually a cream. And so I recommend that you have some sort of a cloth or some sort of a little, um, a, a facial, um, not a scrub, but a facial exfoliator that you can like circular, like whether it's a brush or something of that nature that you use to, once you have the cream on around your face, that, and you can go down even further on your neck and you're just using that little brush just to move that cream product through and then rinse it off. And um, so there'll be no like soap feeling. So when you're done, your face is actually gonna feel um, moisturized and not tight. If your face feels tight after you've washed it, then you've really like removed and 
with a harsh type of a, um, astringent. And you don't want that, especially if you have uh, breakout skin or sensitive skin or uh, acne, you're gonna actually irritate your skin more by doing that. So that is a really great uh, cream uh, cleanser. Just, I just want to tell people that all the time because I've had people after they order the kit, they're like, this condition, this cleanser is, you know, it doesn't suds up, but I'm like, oh, it's a whole new world. You just have to really um, look at the natural side of things. It's a different right. experience, you know? Right. So I really like that about it. Yes. Okay. So then after um, targeting problem areas, then you'll want to moisturize. So there's an anti-aging moisturizer, which is the tube there. And then there's a hydrating cream, which is the um, little cylinder and with the uh, silver top. And that's actually one of my favorites. It's so smooth. It goes on so light, but it does its job of moisturizing. And I actually gave it to my mom and I'm really missing it now. So I need to order mine. Um, but you can order these as separate components or you can order them all in a system. This whole system here is $200. And look at how many components it has. Okay, I want to just tell you some of the oils that are in this skincare line. You've got lavender, ylang ylang, German chamomile. See, very calming, comforting essential oils. You also have frankincense and myrrh, which are very restorative and healing. And what I love about the doTERRA products is because the smell comes from pure essential oils in them, it doesn't give you a headache because it doesn't have that chemical fragrance in there, all right? Um, so that's pretty much it. This is um, another part of, let's see, uh, hmm, I see, okay. Uh, okay, here, okay, so this is an example of a wellness box that will give you great skin, but then the side benefits of great health. Okay, um, there's something called LRP, stands for Loyalty Rewards Program. It's the genius way to buy. It's the way to buy below wholesale in doTERRA. And it's a great way to try different products while getting paid to purchase. So the three bottles here are your Lifelong Vitality, which is the foundation of health and nutrition. Then you have your Terrazyme, and your PB Assist, Terrazyme help digest your food, your PB Assist for the probiotics. And then you have a skincare line here, right? And this whole thing is 150 PB or $200. If you added one more item, you would get the free Immortel this month. And Immortel, if you came a little late, has the best essential oils for skin. It's got frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, helichrysum, lavender, really great oils for the skin and undiluted too. So when you buy it, you can dilute it and make a couple of different roller balls. The black shadow of essential oil is the free oil of the month. Every month you can get a free oil if you do 125 PV, which stands for product value by the 15th of the month, okay? So you wanna add anything, Letitia? You wanna go through some of the questions. I don't know if we have time for that at all. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go backwards too. Maybe you can uh, read me the question. Yes, yes. Okay, I just want to go over some of them here. Uh -huh. okay. What can you use for skin tags? That's what someone was asking. Oh, okay, yeah. So skin tags, there's a whole variety of them, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. they can be big and sometimes small. The smaller they are in terms of the peduncle, the peduncle is like the attachment to your body. They kind of look like a bulb, skin tags, okay? If they're attached by just a tiny little bit of flesh, that one's gonna fall off easier than one that looks like um, just a projection with a wide base, okay? So what do you want to use for those frankincense is great for skin tags, okay? But you gotta use it twice a day and roll it right on. A lot of us may have skin tags like from the seat belt and stuff like that. So you can roll frankincense roller on there, oregano, is good too, but you have to dilute it. That's why I recommend the oregano uh, touch roller because it's pre-diluted and you don't have to think about it or make one. Um, What's consistency? They, what's that? Consistency on those. Yeah, consistency, yeah, consistency. Mm -hmm. Twice a day at least for a month or two. And then the other thing is the LLB, the lifelong vitality, because as you take that vitamin, 
your skin is just going to improve in all areas. So um, my good friend, Gina Cho, she said, I used to have so many skin tags, Tina. And I just started taking all the, the doTERRA supplements, including the LLV. Just, I can't believe it. Three years later, I don't have skin tags anymore. So mm -hmm. your, your skin does change when you start to do the supplements. All right. Another someone, question. Someone asked about eliminating moles. And my suggestion was that that's a really like a, doc, that's like a dermatologist issue. But when you have like a mole removed, like I've had mole removed because they're really deeply based into your skin. Yeah. And um, when you have something removed, and then you can use products to heal and yeah. have anti scarring. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to use things like the yeah. um, Immortal Diluted when you're trying to uh, heal from the removal of the mole. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of things that you can use for your mole removal. The other right. question is. Um, one second here, let me scroll down. Okay, a newborn eczema, cradle cap. Dermis says eliminate some foods, but that's internal. So topically, what can we do for eczema and cradle cap? Okay, um, geranium is very good topically. Again, dilute for any uh, child less than five, you definitely want to dilute. Uh, geranium, a tea tree is another very good one. Roman chamomile, uh, another very soothing oil and healing oil, lavender too. Yes, and then okay. um, and for the cradle cap, um, you can apply uh, like one drop of lavender to coconut oil, and then just kind of let it sit on the cradle, and then you can use a, like a very soft brush, like a toothbrush, and kind of work at it and take it off, good. and then yeah. put some more uh, coconut oil and lavender on there. And how about um, can a teenager uh, take the bone nutrient at the supplement? Oh yes, for sure. Okay, so I read a study about how. Um, a lot of our bone matrix is laid down before the age of 20. So the better your daughter's nutrition is in her teens, the better uh, she's going to be uh, at, in terms of not getting osteoporosis. So taking the bone nutrient as a teenager is great. It's a great idea. And then someone asked, is it suggested to combine and take all these vitamins, supplements daily? So um, mm -hmm. I recommended that like for the basics, you know, like our Terrazyme, PB Assist, Lifelong Vitality, uh, Bone Nutrient, things like that, yes. Um, things like um, if you're yeah. adding in the Yarrow Palm, um, you, you really kind of have to get started off in the day early, right? If you're taking your supplements and kind of like spread, that's how I do it. I like yeah. spreading it out. Yeah. People can take everything at once. I like to spread things out. Like I isolate my probiotic for sure. Like mm -hmm. in the morning, empty stomach, you know, and then our lifelong vitality and terrazyme with our food mm -hmm. and other supplements that you're going to add in, you can take those throughout the day, mm -hmm. right? How, how do you do yours, Tina? I do Euro Palm right before bed. Okay. Euro Palm cap capsules. Mm -hmm. um, and then I know that, like, I don't know if Dr. Lisa's on this call, but um, she's a nursing um, home director, a family practice doctor. She's got a lot of COVID patients. So before she goes out to see them, she loads up on like Euro Palm, on LLV. I mean, you know, the LLV uh, vitamins are so balanced. Um, some people even double up. Like they, instead of taking four uh, uh, capsules per bottle a day, they'll even double up to eight if they have some sort of inflammation or if they're in an area of a high threat. Um, that's the nice part about these vitamins is that it's, it's like taking and eating a salad. You know, you just yeah. load up a little bit more if you're in a time of wanting to uh, recuperate or be extra uh, mindful of your immunity. Okay, but yes, the, the basis is the LLV, is the lifelong vitality, and then the enzymes with your food, and then the probiotic, okay? And then if you want to add stuff on, like Letitia said, then, then you add it on. Yeah, it's, you know, we're eating, these are whole food supplements. So you're, you're taking food and plants. It's not a drug. It's not something that's synthetic, that's created in a lab. It's whole food. So you're eating, it's like, like if you're eating fruits and vegetables and receiving, you know, uh, benefits from that, but it's a very concentrated mm -hmm. um, way of taking them, right? Yeah. So I think that um, the concept of taking a pill, uh, these this is like food. It's food for your body, food for your cells, and uh, your it constantly needs to be fed. 
So I think it's okay. It's, it's a good thing. You know, you want to get used to doing yeah. that. One of the other questions that someone is asking is the yarrow palm that comes in the bottle with the dropper mm -hmm. the same as taking the capsule? No, actually, that's a great question. The yarrow palm is directly from the plant, the yarrow and the pomegranate. Okay. Oh, the yeah. yarrow palm supplement has vitamin C, it's got grape seed, it's got zinc, it's got melon. So um, they are the same name because they're in that skincare category of mm -hmm. benefiting you and giving you glowing skin, but there are different components. So great question. It's kind of like the deep blue line where we have the deep blue oil, which is like wintergreen oil, peppermint oil, and then you have the deep blue capsule which is turmeric and resveratrol and ginger okay okay Any other asking, is the barrage good for sensitive skin i have very sensitive skin on my face and i tend to break out with a lot of facial care products okay um so i found it to be very 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 uh mild myself um I think that um, you'll probably have better skin if you're taking the supplements too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the great part about doTERRA is there's a money back, um, not a money back, but they have a good return policy. So let's say you use it for a week or two and it's really not working out. You can call 1-800-411-8151 and work it out with them on getting a refund. Yeah. The... Um depending on how sensitive your skin is, the serum has a lot of essential oils. And you could try, you know, um, if, try it in a, a certain area of your skin first and see how you react to it. You know, you, don't want to, you might not want to put it, the serum part all over your whole entire face for the first time. Just pick a spot and just kind of see how your skin reacts to it, especially if you're sensitive. If you don't have sensitivities, then it's probably less likely to be a problem. But if you already know that you're like preconditioned to have those sensitivities with this with the essential oils, you just want to make sure that you, you don't have to dilute it or or do other things to for it not to irritate your skin because you don't want to activate that anymore. You know. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So, would you suggest maybe like even with the skincare product, can you still do the arm test like on your forearm? Would that not, or is your skin on your face like would that be? Would you just be like delusional because the skin on your forearm is completely different than the skin on your face? Um, I think that you can uh, do it on your forearm first, especially if you're very sensitive. That's a great suggestion, Gina. So for the person who asked the question about the sensitivity, you know, try it on the, 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 the inside of your arm first. And then if there's no reaction, you can actually try it on the side of your face. Okay. So that if you're afraid that there's going to be a reaction, like your skin will come, your hair will kind of cover it. Right. So most people though um, are okay, but uh, if you have sensitive skin, then, then do those two things first. And then um, I think, let's see, I guess I, mean, I think that was, I think that was it yeah. for the questions. One thing we do have to do um, is, oh, it says I have breakouts, but skin is okay. Never mind. Okay. Um, we have to give the word. Uh, for the class. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the word, are you guys ready? It's frankincense. Frankincense. Because that oil is so good for your skin. It's great for um, uh, for the uh, sunspots, for making them less dark. It's good for balancing the skin. Um, it's even good for warts, for skin tags. Um, a lot of people that I know who have chronic skin conditions, they use the frankincense regularly, like they've had some sort of rash for years, and then they'll use the frankincense regularly and it starts to fade. Like for myself, I had a C-section and I noticed as I used frankincense on it consistently, it's like almost the color of my regular skin now. So uh, frankincense is the key word for today. Okay, I think we're done, right? Thank you, Letitia. Thank you, Dr. Tina. Good job. Can we get a bedtime story now? You guys have nice voices. <laughs> I'm going to give that to Letitia. She's got the beautiful radio voice. Oh, no, no, no. Or Doc Letitia or Dr. Pete, if he's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, who is doing the next part of our class? I am. 
Oh, yay. Okay, it's the famous Carly. Oh. Um, can you, I guess it doesn't matter if you're staying on, if you um, switch me back to the host or not, because I'm not doing any slides, so. Oh. But if people that need to be let in, I don't know. So thanks for being with us, everyone. Uh, what are we going to talk about next, Carly? We are going to, so if you guys are just here for the educational class, then, um, oh, we can probably stop the recording now too, Tina. Okay. If you guys are here just for the educational class, then you can hop off. We're going to wait like five minutes, four or five minutes, and then we'll get started. We're going to be doing.